Good morning, oil traders. It is Wednesday, October 11th at just about 9 a.m. Eastern Time here. We're still just about half an hour away from markets open and we're up yet again. Uh, we've made new highs overnight in uh, European trading, Asian trading. Um, we've reached as high as 51.41. So apparently it was lucky that I didn't get my buy order for another short at 51.05 yesterday. I was even prepared to take 51.03, so go figure. Um, uh, you know, we it's a it's possible that we're going to make new highs. It's possible that we're going to reach back to 51.41, but you know, to my eye, it looks like 51.30 is pretty a, is pretty much a safe bet that we're going to get at least that high. Um, you'd think that I would be willing to buy long if I feel that we should be able to get to 51.30, but uh, that's not the case. Um, I'll be looking for a pullback before I buy long, um, hopefully to the mid 50s, uh, 50, 50 or lower, I'd be buying long. Um, that's also the point at which I would exit both shorts, assuming that I do get my second short this morning and we do drop. So assuming both those things happen, um, I'll be looking to exit both shorts and buy long. Um, yeah, uh, and then anticipating a bounce back up to 51. We seem to be struggling to stay up above 51, um, having reached those new highs. So hopefully I still get my shot, but we shall see. Uh, let me know what you guys think. You can hit me up down below on the comments on YouTube or over on tradingjournal.ca where you can find more information on my portfolio, trades, results, performance, etc., etc. Uh, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to stay tuned, and I'll check back with you guys towards end of trading here today at uh, or before 4 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, keep in mind that EIA news is not today. It's Wednesday. Typically, we have EIA news today. Um, it will be tomorrow, Thursday, at 11 a.m., not 10.30 a.m. So factor that into your plans, and uh, I'll, until then, good luck. <laughs> Cheers.